What's poppin' y'all? So we are about to hop into a video by Stewie Griffin. This one is Family Guy roasting every place on earth. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop straight into this video. <sighs> the Feast of San Gennaro. Every child here has seen a relative murdered in a barber chair. Mom, I can handle space camp. I'm not stupid. Well, regardless, on the way back, we're stopping at that Down Syndrome camp we passed. Peter, that was the University of Florida. Shouldn't be hard in this dreamy land of wonder. I can already smell the enlightenment and tranquility. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <clears throat> this is wonderful, isn't it, Brian? It's so tranquil, I'm tearing up. Come on, I think I see a cab with less than nine people in it. Ugh, God knows what I'm gonna find in steerage. Bunch of drunk, fat, pie-faced Irish fools. Excuse me, have any of you seen a blonde teenage boy? Who's asking? Yeah, who the hell are you? And I'm the baby! Okay, Stewie, this is favorite Belarusian children book called Good Night Moon of Chernobyl. Good Night Radiation House. Good Night Melted Phone. Good Night Glowing Milk. Good night, bleeding grandpa's eyes. Good night, two-headed cat. Next book, everybody. Look at his face. <laughs> he looked just like me, like. The fuck? <clears throat> yeah, the bastard's making a break for it, just like South America. Hmm, a lot of black guys over there. Hey, man, where you going? Oh, I'll be back. I'm coming back. I'll be right back. Hi, do you like South Dakota but don't want to see Mount Rushmore? Come to North Dakota. It's just a very long drive from wherever you live. Best of all, most of the good license plates aren't taken yet. Imagine coming here and having cool dude or yay Jews or boo Jews, depending on where you stand on Jews. North Dakota, we're not even the best Dakota. See, the bowler hurls the ball towards the batsman who tries to play away a fine leg. He endeavors to score by dashing between the creases, provided the wicket keeper hasn't Why is he looking at him like that? On, of course. Can anybody get that? The only British idiom I know is that fag means cigarette. Well, someone tell this cigarette to shut up. I can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super loud. You're dead. What? But I'm deaf. Sorry, dude. Super deaf. You're done. So what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a deaf dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Yes, well, if they want to make me into a monster like those people, we'll give them a monster. What like happened when to the baby? Haiti. Oh my god. Um. People of France, a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. And your sirens sound like gay guys having a threesome. <laughs> I say, we're on quite a run. We blew up the Great Wall of China, bombed the Eiffel Tower, and look at this note I sent off. Her Dear voice, Pakistan, as hell. up yours. Love, India. Let's see what happens. They did not need much. We now return to Ethiopian hoarders. <laughs> I don't know how it got like this. All right, we'll come to dinner. But I want you to know I'm very skeptical about this whole thing. Oh, that's okay. Uh, hey, listen, I was skeptical about traveling to Mexico. I took one step outside the resort. Probably shipped me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. <laughs> India, the most spiritual country in the world. Aziz Ansari? Oh, I thought Paris would be a bit more picturesque. Instead, it's just traffic and some big guy using a jackhammer. But, monsieur, this is not a jackhammer. It is a Jacques hammer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy new life and we'll have equal rights for all. 
except blacks, Asians, Hispanics, Jews, gays, women, Muslims, um, everybody who's not a white man. Just people from Ireland, England, and Scotland. But only certain parts of Scotland and Ireland. Just full-blooded whites. No, you know what? Not even whites. Nobody gets any rights. Ah, <sighs> America. People can always sense a fraud. Gentlemen, it has come to my attention that there is a Chinese among us. Rest assured, he will be found. Security is launching a full-scale investigation into the genealogy records of every single one of our employees. This man will be found, and there will be dire consequences. Too bad about that Chinese guy, huh? At least some dirtbag from Boston yells at your junk to scare it into working again. You hear me in there, dum-dum? Let's look alive. Listen, I could be nice about this, or I could get my brother. And he did some serious time for throwing a turkey off a bridge into a car. All right, well, I gotta go. There's a ripped screen door that needs slamming. How could a town with so many great colleges produce nothing but dopes? Not sure, but my mom says they're very popular with Latvian athletes. Running, throwing, lifting big things. Teslik. That's <laughs> all right with me, man. Each shoe sold separate. Good evening. Tonight's I'm top so story, Quahog is infested with loud, hairy creatures also known as New Yorkers. They migrate north every autumn to see the foliage. And I think I speak for all of us when I say that New York and everyone from there can fornicate themselves with an iron stick. Oh, damn. I say, I seem to have sewn a shoe to my hand. May I go to the nurse? Replace him! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, that is not right! Oh, my God! Lies. It's a social nightmare. <laughs> and I hear Canadian high schools are even worse. Well, well, I look took who took her baby out like that. Grade nine. Someone wants to get into university. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm sorry. Well, you're going to be sorry when we put you in the hospital for free, eh? We now return to Captain Central America. It worked. Gracias. What are my powers? Oh, yeah, it's weird. You're, like, really good at painting my living room. Up, up, and get it done by Saturday. We're having a party. Leave this, Joe. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. That's it. You two are kicked out of paradise. Unless you want to buy a nice pot. Can I put my keys in it? No. Fine, we'll leave. But where will we live? The opposite of Eden. Well, Florida... Time to fit in. <laughs> Let's go have sex with gum in our mouths. They're Chinese. The Japanese have a whole other thing going on. Hey, you want to see a movie? Nah, we're Japanese. Let's go watch a schoolgirl bang an octopus. Yeah! Oh, that's creepy as hell. <laughs> we can't do that. Don't you know a lot of discarded electronics end up in the ocean and kill sea turtles? Well, then, let's cut out the middleman. I'm sorry, there's a new phone. That was cool. I got to go to Fiji for that. They got a ton of turtles there. Oh you can kill them. God. Nobody cares. Man, Texas is great. Back where I'm from, a retarded guy could never have this much fun. What'd you just say? What? Technically, I'm retarded. <laughs> fellas, fellas, can't we talk this over? Talkings for terrorists and blacks. In Texas, we execute the retarded. Oh, my God. So this is how it ends? Half of Jensen there can tell you it gets pretty mm. sticky. But I never lost me good spirits, I haven't. So let's get up there, be safe, and get back to the big fat pigs of wives we have waiting at home. Pardon me, sir. I'd like to join. What are your Why qualifications? I have a like British that? accent. I'm possibly homosexual. I never brush my teeth, and my wife is ghastly. Bombs away. In fact, I got you a bunch of new top-notch American-made stuff. What else did you buy? Oh, a couple things. That light fixture. New heat regulator on your stove. Your man bra. Your garbage disposal. Your dishwasher. And your new cat.
This can't be Santa's workshop. This looks like Bridgeport, Connecticut. Oh, boy, get ready for the letters. Dear Family Guy bastards, who the <laughs> hell do you think you are? I'll have you know that Bridgeport is among the world leaders in abandoned buildings, shattered glass, boarded up windows, wild dogs, and gas stations without pumps. So eat my p Jew writers. Connie must really mean business, like an Armenian kid in a candy store. Hey, little boy, can I help you? Yes, I wish to buy business and turn into car wash. <laughs> Welcome to Ireland. We'll be landing in five minutes. This is quite a country, Brian. You know, Ireland has more drunks per capita than people. Oh, that's a negative stereotype. I don't think the Irish drink as much as people say they do. Uh, I found out that your real yeah. father was a drunken <laughs> Irishman. I went to Mexico to terminate my pregnancy. Oh. But God had other plans, and you were born right there. Oh my god, why is it quiet? It must have got muted. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay, ew. All right, I, see, I guess the rest of the audio is muted, so I'm gonna just, well, there's only a few seconds left. Let me see. Yeah, I think the rest of it is just muted. Um. If it's one thing, I used to work at a convenience store when I was like a little younger. It was like my second job or whatever. And I always noticed that the men that would come in, it was mostly white men too. The men that would always come in, they always had like, they always like said bad things about their wives. Like it never failed. Like after I was done, you know, like bagging all their items or not bagging, but like after I was done scanning all of their items or whatever, I'll ask him like, would you like a bag? And he'll be like, no, I have one at home. And at first it went over my head and then I caught on like, wait a minute, whoa, he's talking about his wife. Like, why do they do that? And it was mostly like white dudes that came into the store and they will always talk shit about their wife. Like, what is that? But yeah, this video made me uncomfortable. So mission accomplished, right? That's what Family Guy does. It just, they talk about shit that makes you uncomfortable so yeah y'all that was my reaction to this video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next reaction video